Well, I think strangely enough, what keeps it current is uh, maybe some of the nostalgia factor, ironically, uh, just because uh, books, we represent sort of some old media, and we also represent like uh, culture and the history of culture. Uh, perhaps maybe a little more than like online media where, you know, the internet's only 20 years old. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it gives a very skewed representative of like what the world or what the cultural world is like. Whereas City Lights, you know, we try to sort of represent that basically from, you know, day one of the printed book to uh, the current day. Sensory overload and everyone who comes in pretty well says the same thing. And whenever anyone starts working here, it takes a while for your eyes and your head to stop spinning from everywhere your eyes naturally want to uh, light on. But when, when they do, it's quite an accomplishment and then you really see the treasures. We probably have about eight different genre of fiction sections. Uh, we have some excellent non-fiction sections. We have a whole room full of art books, uh, half a room full of film books, uh, half a room full of music books. Um, uh, we basically really try and carry everything under the sun. So uh, basically, if it's been printed in a book, we have a section on it in the store. Twitter, for us, is an open door into... Uh, promoting and showing people the space around our product. Uh, some people make the mistake of just promoting the product, and my product is this, and this is my product. We do the space around it and occasionally promote the product.